EricMother.com. Let's take a quick look at the Australian dollar versus the US dollar. And this is a weekly chart. And I'm going to be focusing on this top here. Of course, we made that top and we moved lower in terms of price action. So was there anything on the charts that was giving us an idea of a potential reversal during this period? That's the question we are going to try and answer. All right. First and foremost, we can use our uniformity method. Because there is a break here, which brings prices lower. So we take this break point, draw our uniformity line, and clearly this is where it struggles. It hits that line and pulls back. So there was one indication of potential failure. There's also another way of looking at this from a price breakout perspective. If you take this closing high on the weekly chart, we can see a weekly breakout attempt. In other words, we close at fresh weekly highs here. And then in the subsequent week, we fail to hold that level. So that is definitely a failed breakout. And we know that failed breakouts are notorious for taking instruments lower. And this is a great example right here. A failed breakout eventually leads to people getting out and prices declining. We can also see that this is also uniform activity and rejection below the 69.1 level. Now, if we zoom out a little bit, you'll see that this high has a relationship with, pre with a previous line going back from this level here. And now we are talking about going back as far back as 2011. Is a RSI high here and what I'm going to do is draw a line connecting those levels and you see how this became rejection now remember this the Instruments have a tremendous memory. This is 2018. And this here is early 2011. And yet the blue line gives us this top here corresponding with the top right there. So there you have it. That is how you can use some of the methods I talk about in trying to determine where a Forex pair could be struggling when the chart setup agrees with some of the levels that we're discussing here. In other words, the sell signals that we see in stocks, cryptos, commodities can also be used for tracking reversals as far as the Forex market is concerned. Eric Moore with Mother.com. As always, good luck, peace and blessings. E, a C, S.